Hi guys, how are you all doing? I have just done a Dior top 10 list a few days back, like yesterday, I, I don't remember. But I feel like, yeah, if, as long as you're rolling, let's do the Chanel. I have done Chanel fragrances uh, quite a bit on my channel. I've collected a lot of them, but definitely I don't have everything. I had a few other fragrances that I sold off. So I thought of like, let's put, see if I can have <laughs> 10 fragrances that I still have here at this moment. So I have only a few fragrances from Chanel and I'm gonna rank them. I have exactly 10. Perhaps one more, I don't know where it is, but uh, Chanel fragrances, they are not releasing anything in the designer side. So these are top 10 designers Chanel releases. And I have few, uh, the small miniatures of their private line, but I'm not gonna show you those today. And these are, again, remember my personal choice, your number one can be my number 10 or vice versa. Do not get mad about that because people's choices are different. You know, my good friend John Harper says that's the beauty of the game. Thank you so much, brother, for that beautiful uh, note that you sent me. These are kind of things that motivates me to keep going, right? Uh, so, you know, the, the the difference in taste, different people, different likes, that's what is the spice of life for me, right? So today, I will uh, briefly talk about them, you know, try to keep them on the 10, 12, 15 minutes. But Chanel, sadly, not they're not making any more fragrance. I don't know what's up with that. Perhaps they are busy. Uh, they should release because it's a shame. They are on the best house from designer game, almost borderline niche quality. Fantastic. But today I'll show you at this current moment what are my top 10 and how I rank my Chanel fragrances. I got a couple of new fragrances in my collection, um, which I really wanted. But I'll start with one honorable, one honorable mention, which I used to own, which is called Antheas. Uh, for some reason, I never really wore it. I wore Kuros. I wear a lot of body, uh, like uh, what do you call, like those... Uh, beast mode uh, powerhouses but Antheas was one fragrance I never really wore. I wore Kuros, felt like dirty and clean at the same time but Antheas is a little bit more serious. Uh, I think I had a reformulated version, didn't last on me that much. It's a dark leather animalic perfume so that fragrance is not for young kids. Chanel is a more mature house but uh, Chanel has some really good ones like versatile ones which made my top five. Next thing to remember, Chanel fragrances are expensive. So always try before you buy. And good thing about Chanel boutiques, uh, they you cannot find Chanel's and Dior's at discounters, okay? So always buy from Chanel uh, counters. And there are some fakes, okay, always. So make sure you buy from legit sources. Uh, Chanel fragrances cannot be $50, 50% off, never. So the sad thing is nothing new. You know, no new release. That's the only thing. It's a shame. So let's start from number 10. And these are not fragrances that I like number 10 i hate or anything i love all of them but just ranking according to my liking number 10 is poor monsieur okay poor monsieur or poor monsieur uh, this fragrance is a vintage style fragrance it's a gentlemanly masculine citrus and a little bit of greenery and definitely this fragrance is not i would never see younger kids wearing this these are the fragrance people wear like who like Givenchy gentlemen the older bottle like this style fragrances you know like if you see, you'll see Versace Loam or Givenchy Gentleman, this uh, this one, or uh, if you like Ted Lapidus, or a little bit like uh, seven, 1871, no, what's that fragrance called? Ceruti, I forgot the name, 1881 Ceruti, there's a fragrance, anyway, so kind of like YSL Jazz, you know, it's a very mature fragrance. I really thought about it before buying this, and this also comes with the EDP version, which lasts longer, but this is more citrusy that opening like reminds me of Armani Eau Pour Homme or Dior Sauvage Eau Sauvage uh, so this is a more serious you can wear this in the summertime springtime but the thing is it goes green I like this fragrance a lot but you need require you require certain mood to wear this okay Pour Monsieur by Chanel number 10 it's a classy gentleman's fragrance elegant fragrance definitely number nine is perhaps the biggest that many people are gonna be mad at me but I'll explain to you why this fragrance number nine. This is one of the most classiest Chanel perfumes of all time. I'm gonna get a backup bottle of it because I hear this is being discontinued. This is Chanel Alliorum, the original Alliorum. The You see the bottle took some beating. Some of the letters are coming off uh, due to the number of years. I, it's a very old bottle of mine. This fragrance is the responsible one for all the Alliorum line and I do have almost all of them. This fragrance is so complex. You know, for me, it's a 10 out of 10 classic gentlemanly fragrance it has peach and then i love the way mark says it's like a pyramid you know it breaks down note by note phase by phase like such a beautiful pyramid of notes you know and like every single stage you can smell every single note 
opens up kind of like a peach sweetness kind of like a citrusy vibe you think like a summer perfume but it slowly warms up a little bit and gets a little bit spicy you know a uh, nice little perfume but uh, this is really serious and formal and i would suggest this not for everyday usage it's not a very versatile but it's a signature scent worthy fragrance but today it's number nine but don't bash me too much because i have i will explain to you the next ones okay and even if you see the next one you're gonna get even more mad number eight is Bleu de Chanel EDT. This is one bottle I keep just for memory's sake. I never really bought a backup bottle. This was my Malaysian bottle. If you see my review, I was still in Malaysia at the time. I was at Bagan, Bagan Lalang Beach, you know. So I was wearing my sunglasses. I was just talking away. This is the bottle I bought. I never really get good performance from Bleu de Chanel EDT. It has a beautiful grapefruit, you guys know. And then it has this kind of like incense, I think. Something smoky immediately gets kind of spicy and dark. So the opening I really love. I really wish they kept the opening a little bit longer, but sadly it doesn't stay like that so this fragrance i never really found like a proper summer wear wearable perfume because it doesn't last and second thing it smells really good at night time when there's no sun and take note dior sauvage is an excellent summer perfume but this for me is not you can wear this in uh, perhaps night time breezy rainy days rainy nights but summer days is it, it doesn't make sense you know 100 something dollar for blood chanel no but fall night time in the mild cold weathers this fragrance does push some some way and the opening first opening hour is magical but i have better ones than this in my lineup blood chanel one of the top sold most loved fragrance in this house so number seven this bottle i recently bought once again this fragrance i sort of like dismissed you know this is called egoist and i don't have a vintage bottle the vintage bottles will be like thin right the egoist one i did not understand when i reviewed it for the first time i was like this is too mature for me. I'm not liking the sandalwood in this. This is sandalwood heaven. And you have to give time to fragrance. This is what I learned in my journey. If you don't give time and you sell off your fragrance or you dismiss something very quickly, you'll regret it later. This is such a fragrance. I had to buy one. Okay. And this perfume is just beautiful. It's, uh, it's kind of like one of those niche fragrances like Santal 33 or 22. I forgot. Santal 33, I think from Le Labo. It has that quality. It's really long lasting, it projects a lot, lasts all day on your shirt, but it's a mature fragrance once again, okay? Uh, try before you buy. If you're under 25 or so, I don't think you're gonna like it that much unless you really have the taste for it. If you give it to your father, he's gonna really love and wear this fragrance a lot. It has very serious uh, vibe, very formal suit and tie, uh, overseas trip, business trips. This is gonna be an excellent fragrance. Signature scent worthy, Chanel's Egoist number seven. And this, I think the biggest disappointment is going to be number five for all of you. Uh, the reason being, this used to be my number one most favorite Chanel when I started my journey. This was my compliment uh, beast. I would say this is my compliment garner like crazy. This one gets compliments from women like crazy. This is called Chanel Alirom Sport O Extreme. Okay. Yeah. Bash me all you want. You Sometimes you're thinking like this guy, he's gone completely lost his mind. Yes, I know this for you perhaps is number one. This is a younger crowd's fragrance. Okay. I feel like it you know i'm reversing the process sort of uh, day by day you know and this has this beautiful orange it got this nice little chanel alirom sport vibe but it has this mask you know the mask the lady told me a channel counter this fragrance is beautiful for its mask you know because uh, naturally it reminds me of sort of like narciso rodriguez great quality mask and then if you really didn't like mask try this perfume it's tonka heavy it's sweet it's it it's got the orange it got the freshness but at the same time it got some sweetness as well so mild cold weather this fragrance is lovely for a dating evening but the next five i think i love a lot more than this right now okay chanel alirom sport oh extreme number six so what are my top five number five edition blanche and i have oh extreme and this both are are in edp form you can get them in edt but i think edp is longer lasting but no matter what formulation you get this one is the worst performer in the whole lineup of chanel i i feel so this fragrance on me lasts like two to three hours after that gone it's okay you know why is it okay because this is the lemon cream pie of the fragrance community this is one of the best lemon based perfumes niche quality from chanel man when you smell this you know i just wear this on special occasion only uh, this is perhaps the most posh smelling chanel perfume but not today number one but if you really want to get a beautiful perfume from chanel this is my very first fragrance and then oh extreme these two i bought first right so this is my number five beautiful perfume just longevity is a little bit lackluster so number four 
gonna go with perhaps one this time it made my number one channel but nowadays you know i think i'll get a backup bottle but it's it, it requires mood once again this is called chanel's platinum egoist yes some people love the egoist more i like this one more sometimes you know i feel this is the best fragrance it has rosemary man this fragrance is so unique it has this kind of a metallic vibe it has feels like mont blanc legend or fierce abercrombie and fit fierce and uh, mark said and i keep quoting him because this is his credit he said this is a niche version of fierce you know if you like fierce this is the next level and i do agree and one of his best comments was on this was in the winter time this one will warm you up a little bit of spices it it has a spiciness but at the same time in the uh warmer months it cools you down with that metallic tone i don't know how that works and i feel sometimes the green vibe that this gives i get kind of a greenish to it but more daytime version you know that's what is platinum Equest. it's such a unique perfume i cannot explain it it's just a masculine fragrance so unique it's a bold perfume this is the most unique fragrance from chanel perhaps number four number three my most favorite summer perfume uh one of them anyway chanel allium sport cologne sport okay or just cologne uh, they come in like different bottle size 100 and 150 i was looking for 150 but these are discontinued so better get a bigger bottle this is the best lemon citrus based fragrance cologne style fragrance from this house if you like something like sporty yet classy if you like durham cologne but you think that's not long lasting opt for this okay way better value way better value way better longevity at some point you go nose blind to it you feel like oh it's gone after one hour people can detect you on your shirt this one is very long lasting for what it is number three is chanel allium sport cologne or cologne sport exactly same fragrance just different names number two and number one number two is the other blood chanel that i have a massive bottle 150 ml and this also is almost running low this one i got like two years back i think uh, some of the best looking bottles once again just give props to these bottles always make sure you check uh, the CC will never go this way. The all original one always go, no matter how you let it go. The Coco Chanel will, the CC will face only this way, right? That's the strength, and the magnet will be really strong. So make sure Blood Chanel is faked a lot. My favorite, most favorite Blood Chanel EDP. I also have a sample of perfume. I never really bought that perfume. I love so much. Just so expensive. Just uh, confession time. You know, like I, I can buy it. I can buy any fragrance I want, but you know when i i work i work in a very disciplined way decant page or usability or uh is it worth that money dior savoy elixir same reason i didn't get it 60 ml i'll never pay 160 dollars okay this perfume is the best blood of chanel best version of it just trust me it's right in the middle like it has best of both worlds it has performance great performer it has that grapefruit but it's a little bit dark man this fragrance i wore in winter uh, let me just tell you one quick story i wore this last winter i was approaching a lift and it was a restaurant like a tall building whole building is full of restaurants you have to go like uh top level or something for rooftop restaurant kind of thing so i was wearing my jacket and i definitely i like to overspray i oversprayed by a few, seven eight times like total i sprayed about 12 times <laughs> show off and then what happened was actually it, it, i didn't need it because you know i'm not supposed to you know but there were a lot of girls around the lift and there are different age group, I think 20s, 30s. They all were chit-chatting in their own group. And suddenly, you know, when I came near the lift to take the lift, this was the head turning effect. This is what Blood Chanel does. And write it down, you know, this is the more premium blue fragrance compared to Dior Sauvage. If you compare with the EDP, this smells more premium. Different fragrances, but man, this one has that performance. The EDT doesn't last on me. It's more sparkly, but this is the blood chanel number one blood chanel for me for value wise practicality wise that's number two okay so what's number one very simple isn't it what's remaining chanel alirom sport and this is a big boy bottle i once again bought i have a hundred ml bottle still some juice left i didn't think of it much when i got it i was like just to complete my line to, of alirom i bought this hundred ml I used it, but you know, somewhat the Neroli feels a little bit bitter, you know, like it goes a little bit sour on my skin, you know, that orange, and like, eh. I like Versace Purom back then, like a lot more than this, because Vers Versace Purom is like similar to this, but it's a lot more uh, ozonic, aquatic, light, refreshing, citrusy. This one right here is creamy, okay? So if you do not give time, and if you don't get nice smell from your skin, go on your shirt. I smell this one, one of the guys that I used to be friends with, 
he was my elder brother i miss him a lot uh, he was the first guy i met i think one of the first guys i met in bangladesh when i started the community we used to spend a lot of time then one day he wore this i'm like what are you wearing it smells so familiar but i cannot pinpoint what i'm smelling he's he gave me like five to ten minutes he, i couldn't figure it out then he said this fragrance and this smells so much better than chris aventus on him you see this is what ma magic of chanel and i really feel summer is up here this is perfect for almost all year you can wear this in the colder months winter also it smells so nice in colder months like it doesn't really go sour you know in the colder months it's beautiful it's like a romantic poetry you know high class like what diorome is chanel Yom sport the name is like not really right this is not a sporty perfume but fresh neroli creamy musky just refreshing really good if you like versace Purim, upgrade it to this if you just want more performance out of it number one chanel today is chanel Allium sport that's by ranking by my choices okay A, and again this is not an absolute i'm not just saying these are the best that you feel you have to feel the same way just try them thank you very much for watching i think i'll go upload this hopefully you'll enjoy these videos and please uh, possible subscribe to the channel it will help my journey see you soon take care